Greetings everyone. It's June 6, 2019 and I guess I can show you the progress on this first gen Dodge. What I have done since the last video. First I installed that uh, perch for the spring, the spring perch or spring hanger as people call it. And got the frame all painted up little shiny glazy stuff you see is rain which we've seen our fair share of it just keeps raining and of course it wasn't raining when I walked outside but as soon as I stepped out the doors here comes the rain this spring I think we've had a window of three days without rain three days straight without rain and it's rained pretty much every day since anyway so back to the truck. I have replaced the shocks here. As you can see, I got them. They're brand new. And I said the paint it come up pretty nice. I actually brushed that on. I sprayed it with a primer. And then I had some black spray paint. I started doing that. And I didn't really like the results of that. So I just used black rust paint on it. And put like two coats. And it came up pretty good. All the joints around these uh, frame member cross members, I use silicone so the water and stuff won't get down in there. And of course, I did it around the whole thing underneath and stuff. It came up pretty good. Like I say I'm hoping this thing will last a good seven or eight years, or maybe longer. Maybe I'll keep it for when she quits. I'll rebuild it. I don't know. I've always liked these Dodge trucks. I've had lots of luck with them, like I said in the previous video. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of this muffler. It, the neck broke off the uh, out outlet, so I could weld it, but my old Dodge, it didn't have a muffler on it for probably six years. And they're not a whole lot louder without. Personally, I kind of like the sound of the uh, straight pipe. I got some flex pipe down there. And the tailpipe's actually in really good condition, so I'll keep the tailpipe. I was think I was thinking about fully hillbilly in it, and you know, putting it up through the box and having a stack and a little rain cap on there. But if I ever want to use that topper again, I'm gonna have to put the stack through the topper. I gotta do that. So I'll just use the tailpipe for now. Yeah, I think it's coming along. This rust spot, I've, I got it kind of opened up a bit more. and I'm going to put a piece of tin in there, weld her up. There's one little hole in the door sill or rocker panel here. I'll probably fix that up too. Might as well. But yeah, it's, I'd say it's in pretty good, the corn, pretty good condition. The uh, corners are good, which you usually always rot out in these things. The interior, I can show you the interior. I thought it was in pretty damn good condition, actually. Sorry, the stupid camera's going out of focus. For, what's it got on it? For 325,000 kilometers on her. But they say there, it, it, there isn't any blow by in it, and it starts really good. I think the guy who had it before, when I looked at the steering, he uh, greased her and he maintained it fairly well. This thing was, in when he had it in BC, he used it as a camper. So he had one of those box campers on there that you chain down. Lots of guys have those around here. But I think he really did take care of it. The only, thing, the only reason the rust happened and... I do believe this is the case. I've watched videos on it. Is they, It had that rubber, I think it's called, it's just a rubber membrane on the uh, frame. And I think that it just got in behind the moisture and stuff and didn't allow the it to dry. And you get like salt and stuff in there. And it just, it just rusted the living heck out of things. Another point that there's some spots that are thin, but... I don't know, I put a couple little patches in it. 
There's one here, right where that bumper would have been. I didn't even see that. I put that in there. And this side was the same. So, I don't know if you see that. But it'll be all right. Other than that, there was nothing else really. Just down along the bottom. But that's all it was, like that rubber stuff. I would never recommend getting that if you want to keep a truck a long time. I just think that stuff is, I don't know, it's nothing, nothing good about it. It might be good for a couple years, but once it deteriorates and gets holes in it, it's uh, ain't the greatest. And then under the hood, I can show you, I guess. If you care. Can't really hear it running because there's transmission lines off. This thing had an auxiliary transmission cooler on the box. And, well, if I start her up, it would just piss uh, the tran transmission fluid all over the ground. And that wouldn't be good. So, yeah. I didn't see too many leaks, I didn't think. Maybe around the... Uh, Injectors there. I thought I seen maybe the uh, valve covers gasket is leaking, but other than that, I didn't see too many issues with this thing. I think it's going to be a decent truck, so I didn't pay all that much for it. I only paid well, that's a long story. How about I won't get into that anyway? Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just wanted to show you some progress on this beast. I hope to have it on the road. Believe it or not, the uh, the brake drums and those pads, they're damn near new. So I, I had to put, not pads, the shoes, I mean. Those shoes were pretty much new. The pads were pretty well wore out, but I got a set of pads for 20 bucks. Brand new for this thing. Put them in, installed them. And the center steering linkage on this it on the uh on the what the heck's it called i always forget the pitman arm that one was loose so i had to replace it it's in the junk bin here that thing right there i'm not going to touch it because it's covered in grease but it was buggered so had to replace it and it wasn't too bad, I don't know, 100 and, 110 bucks or something like that, or 120. But I thought it'd be a lot more than that. So, on with the farming aspect, we're getting that kind of completed. Except it's slow. Anyway, like I say, we sat through this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and have a good day.